In this video, we're going to be looking at adverbs. So, what are adverbs? Well, adverbs are one of the nine parts of speech. And here they are in alphabetical order. The one that we're dealing with today is adverbs. So, what do adverbs do? Well, adverbs describe verbs. That is their main function. Here's an example. Sarah sings beautifully. Sings is the verb in this sentence, and beautifully is the adverb. And it describes sings to tell us how Sarah sings. Let's do another example. Mark ate his lunch quickly. Well, ate is the verb, and quickly is the adverb. It describes ate to tell us how Mark ate his lunch. In these two examples, you can see how adverbs describe verbs. But we don't say that in grammar. We say adverbs modify verbs. So, adverbs can modify verbs. That's not the whole story, though. Because Adverbs can also modify adjectives or other adverbs. And they don't always tell us how a verb is done. Sometimes they tell us where a verb is done, or when a verb is done, or why a verb is done, among some other things. And that is what we're going to talk about in this video. OK, let's dive straight in. Adverbs tell us how, when, where, why, how often, how much, or under what condition an action occurs. Now that sounds pretty complicated, so let's just look at the first three to get a feel for how adverbs work. Let's look at how. Let's look at when. And let's look at where. So let's start with how. Here's an example. The dog sleeps peacefully. Peacefully is our adverb. And it modifies the verb sleeps to tell us how the dog sleeps. Next, let's look at when. The dog sleeps later. Later is our adverb. And it modifies sleeps to tell us when. And then finally, where. The dog sleeps here. Here is the adverb. And it modifies sleeps to tell us where. OK, let's get rid of those. The next thing we're going to say about adverbs is that they're not always single words. You can have multi-word adverbs either adverbial phrases or adverbial clauses. Let's look at some adverbial phrases. Again, let's start with how. The dog sleeps like a baby. Like a baby is our adverb. It's an adverbial phrase. It just modifies sleeps and tells us how. Let's go to when. The dog sleeps in the afternoon. Well, you can see, in the afternoon is the adverbial phrase, and it modifies sleeps to tell us when. And of course we have where. The dog sleeps near the heater. This is an adverbial phrase. It modifies sleeps to tell us where. Now, remember that adverbs can also tell us why. How often, how much, and under what condition. So let's look at why. The dog sleeps because he is tired. How often? The dog sleeps twice a day. How much? The dog sleeps for three hours. Under what condition? The dog sleeps if it is raining. OK, hopefully now you're starting to get a bit of a feel for how adverbs work. Let's get rid of that. And let's bring back the normal heading. There's one more thing to say about adverbs. Adverbs can modify verbs. We've just seen that. 
but they can also modify adjectives or other adverbs. Let's look at an example. Let's start with an adverb modifying an adjective. She is a wonderfully obedient dog. Wonderfully is our adverb, and here it is modifying the adjective obedient. Okay. Let's do an example with an adverb modifying another adverb. She behaves very obediently. Well, very is an adverb. And here it is modifying obediently, which is another adverb. That's nearly everything I want to say about adverbs. There's much more detail on the web page, and there's a link to the web page in the description. But I want to leave you with this slide, which is a bit of a summary. Adverbs tell us how, when, where, how often, and how much. Here are some examples. Here are some examples in sentences. And you can pause this and look at it in your own time to consolidate what we've spoken about so far. Don't forget that adverbs can modify adverbs and adverbs can also modify adjectives as seen in these two examples in green. Okay, that was an overview of adverbs. Thanks for watching.